Hello YouTube and welcome to another Linux tutorial. So in this video I will show you how you can generate a public SSH key from a private key. So are you ready? Let's get started. So as you can see here I am on my home directory. So let's verify that. So I will print my working directory. So let's list all the files including the hidden ones. So as you can see here, I have a bunch of directories. Some are hidden, some are not, and with also with some files, okay? So first thing, let's actually create a pair of SSH keys. So I'll use the command SSH key gen, okay? So that will create actually or generate a key pair with a public and private key okay so I'll just uh, make the default so I'll just hit enter I don't need a passphrase okay here we go so now that we have created actually our key pair let's verify that so let's show again all the directories and hidden files and you will notice a dot ssh directory has been created so let's go inside this directory here let list the content so as you can see here i have my key pairs i have a private key id underscore rsa and also the corresponding public key okay so let's say that for some reason or for another actually you lost your public key so let's just move it to or rename it to something else okay so let's rename it to lost key for example here we go so now i have only my private key so actually from this private key you can generate the corresponding public key how can you do that with well, it's pretty easy all you have to do is to use the same command ssh key gem but this time with some options so minus y okay in order to generate the corresponding public key and minus f and here you have to provide the actually private key so in this case it's id underscore rsa okay and let's pipe that to our file which will be id underscore rsa dot pub okay here we go so let's verify that so now we can or actually we have generated our public key so let's actually show the content of that file here we go so you have this actually fingerprints and let's show the content of the older one which has the name as last key so as you can see here they have the same actually fingerprint so you have the exact actually fingerprint just here for the last key you have uh, actually amine arobask debian it's just a comment so you have also to remember that when you generate a public key from a private key actually you don't have a comment okay you lost your comment but that's not the problem the main thing here that you generate your public key from your private key you can also verify that with the same command but this time instead of using uh, minus y i will use minus l so minus L here will show us actually 
uh, fingerprint of the public key. So here you can see I have no comment, but if I provide actually the file lost key, you can see that we have the same fingerprint. Okay, so that's a way actually if you want to generate a public key from private key when you have lost your public key. Okay, and as you know, you can use your public key in order to get actually SSH authentication to another server. Okay, so it's a pretty nice way to restore your lost public key. As always, I hope it has been informative for you and I want to thank you for viewing. Bye-bye.